Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Today we have an interesting algebra problem. We need to find all integer solution of the equation square root of x plus square root of y equal to square root of 2560. How can you solve it? So on the first side, this equation is real hard because we have two variables, we have x and y, we have moreover, we have square root, but we can solve it. I want to suggest you a really good trick how to solve it. Let's express from here this square root of x. So as a result, we will have square root of x and I bring this square root of y on the right. We will have that square root of 2560 minus square root of y. And we need only our x, not need, don't need this square root sign, so we raise both sides to the second power. As a result, we will have that our x equal to. We will have difference, we will have a minus b to the second power. We can write this as 500, 2560 and minus y and pl plus y and minus our 2 times 1 number and times second number. So 2 times square root of 160 and times square root of y. I write this y right here. We can simplify this a little bit. So what we're going to do in our case? Let's write this as 256 times 10. As a result we take this square root. As a result we'll have 16. 16 times 2 will be 32. So as a result we'll have the final answer x equal to 2560 plus y and minus 32 times square root of 10 y. So this after all simplifying we have this this expression. So what we're going to do next? This x must be must be an integer. Therefore this 32 times square root of 10 y must be an integer as well. And y and y must be 10 times a square. So as a result we will have that y need to be equal, for example, in our case, 10 tens b square. So let's use this substitution. y equal to 10 b square. The same reasoning with x and y switch shows that x equal to 10 a square. We can use this substitution and assume a and b are non-negative, then we will have an interesting equation. So take a look what equation we will have. Take a look right here, what we will have? Square root, but instead of this x we put this 10a square. So we will have 10a square plus y 10b square plus square root of 10b square equal to, I write this as 256 times 10. So 256 times 10. And take a look what we will have. We can take this square root from here we will have our a, so a bring inside of this square root, outside the square root, square root of 10, plus the same b square root of 10, equal to, we take this square root, we will have 16 square root of 10. And take a look what we will have. After all simplifying we have this interesting equation. So what I'll do right here, I bring this right here a, this b right here, and take this square root. So this equation we will have. What are we going to do next? Let's divide in both sides by square root of 10. Divide in by square root of, of 10. What we will have? That a plus b equal to 16. a plus b equal to 16. So as you can see we will have 16, of course 16 cases. Take a look. What we will have? 16 cases a and b. What pairs we will have? We need that sum will be equal to 16. As a result, we will have the first pair 0, 16, the second pair 115, the third pair 214, and dot dot dot, and the last one. So we will have 16 pair. Previous we will have 15 and 1, and the last one 16 and 0. So these all cases is good for us. So right here we have 16, 16 solutions. Because if you plug in this 16 solution right here, we will have a really good equation, the correct equation. But we write an equation with our x and y, not with our a and b. So we need to plug in these, these values right here. So we will have x and y, and we will have, of course, 16 other solutions. We will have <coughs> 0, b raised to the second power, we will have. 256 times 10, it will be 2560. And the next one we will have in a reverse way, we will have 115, put 1 right here in our x, 
it will be over 10 and right here we will have 2250 if you multiply in this and we take all of these all of these cases we will have 16 cases the previous one will be in a reverse way 50 and 10 and the last one will be 200 2560 and 0 so as well we will have 16 cases take this a and b put right here we will have our x and y from here i don't want to calculate all of these cases because it's it's really long and boring but i wanted to show you how to find the first one second one and the previous and the last one if you want to find for example seven case seven seven pairs of root you <clears throat> find this these parentheses the seven parentheses one two three four five six seven and plug in these a and b right here and you have will have our x and y it's a little bit long but i want to let this right here using using this logic so if you have any question if you have any suggestion write your suggestion in the comment write your question in the comment thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video and right here of course we'll have 16 cases 16 solution but i write it here only four but right here we'll have our 16 cases this is our answer so thank you so much for watching subscribing putting thumbs up i really appreciate it and see you in the next videos